Hey there, movie buff. Do you remember the days when you curled up on the couch, surrounded by the warm glow of the TV screen, eagerly awaiting the next thrilling adventure? Ah, those were the days. Did you ever catch the golden voyage of Sinbad back in 1973? It's time to dust off those memories and share your magical moments with us. The swashbuckling Sinbad, the shimmering allure of ancient tales, and the fantastical creatures, they all played a part in weaving the tapestry of our childhood. Who was your favorite character? Was it the dashing sailor Sinbad himself or the enigmatic, wicked Kuro? Perhaps it was the iconic magic lamp or the mystical homunculus that stole your heart. Those moments that left you on the edge of your seat, the epic battles, and the enchanting landscapes, let's bring them back to life. So, grab a cup of your favorite beverage and take a trip down memory lane with us. Share your fondest memories, relive the excitement, and immerse yourself once more in the world of Sinbad. Now, as we embark on this nostalgic journey, let's explore some fascinating random facts about the golden voyage of Sinbad. In the 1973 movie The Golden Voyage of Sinbad, there were interesting behind-the-scenes details that added to the film's mystique. One concept art by Ray Harryhausen reveals that the griffin, known for its battle with a one-eyed centaur, was initially envisioned as a Neanderthal man. However, this idea was later realized in Sinbad, and the eye of the tiger when the Neanderthal man concept became the troglodyte. When Sinbad and his crew arrive on the mythical island of Lemuria, a cliff covered in intricate carvings captivates viewers. However, this cliff wasn't as it seemed. According to an interview with Ray Harryhausen, the cliff was merely a visual illusion. The scene was filmed on a bustling Spanish beach, and the cliff was added through matte painting to conceal the presence of onlookers. Furthermore, the golden voyage of Sinbad played an unexpected role in shaping the iconic world of Doctor Who. Tom Baker, who later became the fourth Doctor in the Lawn Running series, got noticed for the role thanks to this film. Producer Barry Letts went to see the movie shortly after Baker was recommended for the part. The film left an impression that eventually led to Baker's casting as one of the most beloved Doctors in the series. These tidbits from the making of The Golden Voyage of Sinbad provide a fascinating glimpse into the creative process and its impact on other parts of the entertainment industry. Ray Harryhausen's unfulfilled vision for The Golden Voyage of Sinbad in the making of the 1973 movie The Golden Voyage of Sinbad. Famed actor Robert Shaw and legendary special effects creator Ray Harryhausen had distinct impacts on the film. While Robert Shaw's involvement remains shrouded in secrecy due to his refusal of credit for the role, it is Ray Harryhausen's unrealized vision that piques curiosity. Robert Shaw, a popular actor during the time, portrayed the oracle of all knowledge in the film. He agreed to the role as a favor to producer Charles H. Schneer. However, Shaw's face was concealed under layers of makeup, and his voice was electronically altered by a sound engineer. The actor's contribution lasted a mere 20 minutes, for which he received 5,000. Shaw's reluctance to be associated with the fantasy genre at the height of his fame is a noteworthy aspect of his involvement. On the other hand, Ray Harryhausen, known for his innovative stop-motion animation technique called Dynamation, was keen to incorporate a Valley of the Vipers sequence into the film. This sequence featured both real and stop-motion animated snakes. However, producer Charles H. Schneer, who was fearful of snakes, argued against its inclusion. He believed the scene could potentially disturb pregnant women. Consequently, Ray Harryhausen's ambitious vision for this snake-filled sequence remained unfulfilled. Furthermore, the golden voyage of Sinbad marked a subtle change in the terminology associated with Harry Hassan's stop-motion technique. As of this film, Dynamation was renamed Dynorama, signifying the evolution and refinement of his groundbreaking special effects methodology. In summary, Robert Shaw's concealed contribution and Ray Harry Hassan's unfulfilled vision for a snake-infested sequence serve as intriguing facets of the golden voyage of Sinbad. His details shed light on the complexities of filmmaking in the 1970s and the clash between creative ambition and practical considerations in the world of cinema. The Golden Voyage of Sinbad is the second of three Sinbad films created by the legendary special effects master Ray Harryhausen for Columbia Pictures. The other two films in the series are The Seventh Voyage of Sinbad and Sinbad and the Eye of the Tiger. Christopher Lee was a leading candidate for the role of Kura in the film. However, the role eventually went to Tom Baker. 
Ray Harryhausen paid homage to one of his inspirations, The Thief of Baghdad, with this movie. Both films share the same composer, and Kali's dance in The Golden Voyage of Sinbad mimics many of the moves of the six-armed robot in the 1940 film. The Hindu-style temple in The Thief of Baghdad is reflected in the Hindu-style carvings of Lemuria, and the appearance of the Lemurians is also influenced by the 1940 film. These connections and influences highlight the enduring impact of classic adventure and fantasy films in shaping the golden voyage of Sinbad, creating a cinematic experience that continues to captivate audiences. In summary, The Golden Voyage of Sinbad is part of a series of films by Ray Harryhausen, featuring stunning special effects and an interesting mix of influences from classic cinema. It's a testament to the enduring power of cinematic history on modern filmmaking. The Golden Voyage of Sinbad is the second of three Sinbad movies created by Ray Harryhausen for Columbia. The other two are The Seventh Voyage of Sinbad from 1958 and Sinbad and the Eye of the Tiger from 1977. This film played a crucial role in Tom Baker's journey to becoming the fourth Doctor in Doctor Who. The producer, Barry Letts, watched it shortly after Baker was recommended for the role. Tom Baker's connection to the movie led to a significant turn in his career and it remains a notable chapter in the history of both Sinbad and Doctor Who. In the 1973 movie The Golden Voyage of Sinbad, there's an interesting tidbit about Ray Harryhausen's special effects technique. Up to this film, his method was known as Dynamation, but it got a new name, Dynarama. This change reflects the evolution of his stop-motion wizardry. Regarding the role of Kura, Christopher Lee was a strong contender for it. He could have played a significant part in the film, adding to its star power. However, the specifics of why he didn't take the role aren't readily available. Ray Harryhausen had a striking idea for a scene called The Valley of the Vipers, featuring both real snakes and giant stop-motion animated snakes. However, producer Charles H. Schneer objected. He had a fear of snakes and believed the scene might upset pregnant women. As a result, this imaginative concept remained unused. These details shed light on the creative processes and decisions behind the golden voyage of Sinbad, giving us a glimpse into the making of this classic adventure film. As we sail towards the horizon of our cinematic voyage, we cannot help but be captivated by the timeless allure of the golden voyage of Sinbad, a cinematic gem from the bygone year of 1973. This epic adventure has woven its magic into the tapestry of our film-loving souls, leaving us with a treasure trove of memories and thoughts. This enchanting tale of Sinbad's quest for a mystical amulet, battling mythical creatures and sinister sorcerers, has etched itself into the annals of cinematic history. It is a mesmerizing odyssey where imagination knows no bounds, and where the golden sands of time continue to shimmer brightly. Now, it's your turn. Reflect upon the moments when you first set sail with Sinbad, or the exhilaration you felt when he crossed swords with the nefarious Kura. What were the scenes that ignited your imagination, and which characters left an indelible mark on your heart? Share your thoughts, your cherished memories, and your personal connection with this cinematic marvel. Let us not forget that through our shared reflections, we enrich the legacy of the golden voyage of Sinbad. Your stories are the wind in our sails, propelling us onward through the sea of nostalgia and imagination. Thank you for taking the time to embark on this reflective journey with us. Your interest is the compass that guides us through the cinematic treasures of the past. Until our next adventure together, remember that the sands of time may shift, but the magic of Sinbad's voyage remains eternal.